This is Twit. There's something new that might be coming known as Trust PID. If it ever actually happens, uh, and Vodafone and uh, Deutsche Telekom are reportedly both now in pilot testing of this new Trust PID system in Germany. The technology creates a deliberately, I mean, it's designed to create a persistent static super cookie, which being somehow injected into a user's communications at the carrier level by the cellular carrier cannot be seen, managed, or blocked by end users. The only reason I can see for any cellular carrier to be doing something this clearly privacy invasive is that they've decided that it's more important for them to get in on the internet advertising revenue boom by arranging to monetize their customers' anonymous, and that's in air quotes, online identities. Here's what the Trust PID website says under the tired banner of keeping the internet free, right? So that's what they're, this this is how we're going to keep the internet free, kids. They, uh, and it's, by if anyone's interested, Trust PID I think it was .com. Um, it reads, Consumers appreciate the idea of a free Internet, but this comes with a trade-off. Publishers need a sustainable revenue model, meaning that it becomes essential to add subscription paywalls or rely on advertising to maintain free access to high-quality content. With a growing trend of digital information shared in the ecosystem, consumers' concerns about privacy and the amount of information passed into the free Internet have been raised, no kidding, by things like this, apparently. Trust ID, they wrote, is a technology solution that enables consumers to enjoy free content and the benefits of the open Internet whilst retaining control over their privacy. Uh Uh-huh. Trust PID is a secure, yeah, like that digital driver's license, unique digital token generated by assigning random numbers to you, which reduces the risk of you being directly identified whilst, they like that word, still enabling advertisers and publishers to provide you with a personalized experience across their sites with your consent. You can find more information on how we generate and manage your trust PID in the privacy notice. I went there. There was none. Your consent. That's funny. For tr- <laughs> <laughs> Good luck yeah. finding it. <laughs> That's right. Your consent for Trust PID is collected by advertisers and publishers via their consent management platform. And then if they have here Perens cookie banner when you visit their sites. The consent will apply only to those websites. Trust PID service gives consumers complete control over how their trust PID is used by enabling them to manage their consent via a central privacy portal at any time. In the privacy portal, consumers are able to track which advertisers or publishers they have allowed to provide them with personalized online marketing in their websites based on their trust PID in one central place. The possibility to withdraw consent at single website level and the ability to turn off the trust PID service entirely, preventing any further use of the token. If you want to understand more about how the trust portal works, I'm sorry, the privacy portal works, or if you want to manage your consent, please visit the dedicated privacy portal page. 
And I should mention that only customers of Vodafone and Deutsche Telekom who are involved in this have access to the portal. You've got to validate by using your, your cellular device. Okay. So I have many questions. Aside from the fact that this will assuredly be an opt-out service where all users will be by default opted in, otherwise it would never get off the ground, right? You know, Apple and their attempt to, you know, require advertisers to get explicit permission showed that people just say, no, thank you. I don't want that. Okay. And thus enabling tracking without their consent. And... We need to know whether this system will respect the user's GPC, the global privacy control setting. P presumably, the websites at the other end have to, so we'll see how that goes. As I said, though, aside from that, how exactly can identifying tags be injected at the carrier level into encrypted HTTPS web sessions. Uh, this is really a concern. The only way I can see that this can be done in 2022 is by having the carrier, in this case, Vodafone and Deutsche Telekom, actively intercepting and proxying all of their customers' encrypted TLS connections. We saw this years before when some carriers were offering caching and data compression services. Remember that? Cellular carriers would offer, like, we're going to speed up your internet connection, you lowly cellular users, by, by compressing the data for you, sending it to you compressed, and then we'll decompress it on your phone. But that was back in the pre-HTTPS Everywhere days, where most connections were still unencrypted. But in 2022, as we know, nothing is unencrypted anymore. A carrier can see the IP addresses that their users are connecting to, but IP addresses no longer reflect the website properties behind them, since SNI, server name indication, is now being heavily used during TLS handshaking to identify the domain being connected to and thus the TLS certificate which should be sent to the client. This is allowing many websites to reside at the same IP. So there's no way to disambiguate them from the outside. So this means that a persistent identifier is either somehow injected into the user's connections by their smartphone's browser before entering their TLS encrypted connection, or the user's smartphone must accept a Vodafone Certificate Authority style root certificate into its root store to allow Vodafone and Deutsche Telekom to function as a sanctioned, active, persistent cookie-injecting man-in-the-middle. Neither of these seem likely or possible or even remotely feasible in 2022. So I'm stumped. I mean, I really am. Without being on the inside, Vodafone and Deutsche Telekom cannot see who their customers are connecting to and cannot alter the content of their data, injecting something into the flow. And cellular carriers are explicitly and deliberately on the outside. They're carriers of encrypted content. Uh, I followed every link I could find looking for any technical documentation. There's none that I could see. Since I don't read German, my digging was somewhat limited. Maybe I'm missing something obvious. But even if there's some way to pull this off technically, you know, why the hell are our carriers getting in on the identifying their customers to advertisers game? Um, my feeling is this is a monster that needs to be strangled in its crib immediately 
before it has a chance to grow. I, I this just I just I, I'm my mind is boggled by the idea that 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 Vodafone and Deutsche could be experimenting with this with something like this. And clearly, it's to sell the information, right? I mean, why else? Wow. 